All right, welcome back to early December 1863. Um, here's how things stand in Kentucky. I'm expecting an attack in um, really any moment now. Um, I don't think that Grant will be able to uh, move on Carthage, uh, just mainly because there's very hills here, and then of course there's a river, and then there are hills again, so it's a pretty slow maneuver. Of course, he does ha have um, pontoons. Um, what I am doing is uh, sending a little more artillery support uh, over to this area uh, from western Kentucky. So there's one battery going here, and there's another uh, battery uh, going here. I've also um, reorganized the two corps here into three divisions each, each rather than a four um, and a two. Um, Johnson's going to go uh, south out of the way while uh, the divisions are uh, going to go to Polk's corps. And then, um, oh yeah, one division is actually joining uh, AP, AP Hill's Corps. Um, AP Hill is currently a Corps commander with uh, Johnston, so uh, once he gets out of the way, I'll drop him and, and move him over um, to uh, Jackson's command. Um, not too much is happening in Virginia. Uh, here's what it looks like. Um, and... Uh, not too much is happening really anywhere else because of it being winter and all. I am moving um, Joe Johnson's army back um, uh, to uh, Sparta, Alabama, um, and then leave one uh, division here in uh, Pensacola. Um, and that way, I don't want the, um, the Union to be able to, uh, to move on uh, north here. So, plus we can easily get back to Pensacola um, using uh, using the railroad. Um, I am printing money to get six hundred thousand uh, dollars. So that's one uh, really big decision. As you can see, we have more than a thousand conscripts now that we need to use. Um, so, all right, let's uh, run the turn and uh, see what happens. Uh, another very quiet turn, um, as uh, no battles at all. A um, little bit of a uh, little bit of movement, but even there, uh, not not so much. Um, um, let me look at Pope's core here. Uh, that's what it looks like. So it's in pretty uh, pretty good shape now. Um, uh, Forty-eight, uh, sixty-three. Um, let's see. Yes. So. Now Hill is an LA uh, war commander with uh, General Jackson. Um, as far as uh, as far as movement goes, I didn't really see too much. Um, uh, Grant, as you can see, as I predicted, is getting uh, organized here, and the power is now up to um, 70, uh, 7,600. Um, here, what our forces look like. You can see we have a a 10 pound and a 12 pound battery um, in support of uh, each uh, stack, um, including this one here. So it's pretty good. Um, and Virginia is also uh, pretty, pretty quiet. And I didn't see any movement happen here. Um, it looks like the squadron is, uh, yeah, the squadron is still there. So. Um, Okay, so we are now uh, six days away from arriving in uh, Fort Reno. Um, what was I going to say? Anything else? Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Let's just see if there are any messages. Um, not too many. 45. Uh, Took St. Charles. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. Didn't, um, get the, well, oh, okay, because they're very loyal uh, to uh, to the Confederates. Um, and we've put more money in the Union has decided to support new armories in New York. Okay. 
a pretty quiet turn. Um, so our defenses will uh, continue here in um, Tennessee and uh, just up here in, in Columbus. Okay, see you next time.